Hey, I'm Kenneth Wajda. I'm a professional photographer here in Colorado. Welcome to another one of my photo chats. So I hear people say, if only I had a Leica. You would be in the exact same place you are right now. And instead of holding your Nikon or your Canon or your Pentax, you'd be holding a Leica and you'd still be looking for a subject. Look, I got a Leica. I can go anywhere. It even fits in my jeans pocket. I have a loose pair of jeans on. Can't do that with this Nikon. Okay, they both have a 50 millimeter lens. And you know me. I document my family. I document friends. I photograph the things that are in my world. I would bet sometimes it's easier to photograph with a SLR Nikon where I can see through the lens than with the Leica and maybe I'm not as easily finding the focus patch. I think that there's a lot of wishes that the new camera is going to make us into something that we want to be, but honestly, I've shot Leica, I've shot Nikon. I take out a different camera based on what I'm working on, and it's not the camera. It's the opportunity. It's the access. It's the, what are you shooting? I just went to a local casino town with some friends. I took a digital camera because I wanted to photograph inside the casinos. I wanted to work where there was low light. I wanted to be able to grab photos without having to set up a film camera, which I take more time with. And inside of a casino, you're not supposed to make many pictures. So I wanted to be a little bit more stealth. You take the camera that fits the situation that you're taking. I was working on a project to photograph rural Colorado for a print series and I took a, a Bronica 6.7 because I wanted to get a wide negative that would print well on 8x10. You just take what you need to do the job you're trying to get done. When I'm shooting with a 35 millimeter, I'm usually shooting family and friends. I'm usually grabbing pictures that are meaningful to me. That's not all that different when I bring a different camera. I still, you know, a different camera doesn't make great photos out of things that are boring. And I think that that's the number one lesson I can say is, if you need to get the Leica to feel better, get it. If you want to make that uh, commitment, as long as you don't overpay for a Leica, you can always get your money back. So it's possible to do it if you can tie up the money. But if you think it's going to make your photos any better, it won't. It'll probably inspire you at first, and then you'll see that your photos are about the same. And you might spend that money on trips and on experiences and going to different places that you don't get to go all the time and make photos in those places. And the money that you spent, that you didn't spend on the camera, you have now to go have some play money. Anyway, there's all these different ways of doing it. There's no one way. But these cameras are just tools. And Leicas might be finely refined tools, but that doesn't mean that they're going to make photos for you out of things that aren't photogenic and make them into good photos. They're not. They're just going to be a different tool in your hand and waiting for you to go find a subject that's worthwhile. Waiting for you to say, okay, now I've got a new subject. I'm going to go photograph it. It's the subject that makes the photo, not the camera. All right, that's today's photography talk. If you're enjoying it, hit the subscribe button. If you can support it, the Patreon. Thanks to all my supporters. I'll be back next time. We'll talk more photography. As always, here's the good light.